Levan Saginashvili is 100% ready to take on the arm wrestling world once again by defeating Devon Lerett in a rematch and proving that despite a small injury setback, he is still the king of the world. Or is he? Because many people are saying that Levan may be making a mistake, in fact a huge mistake, risking his number one title by taking Devon Laird as his first comeback match after the wrist injury. Hello everyone, I'm Pradeep from Arm Wrestling News. In today's video, we will discuss the confirmed Devon vs Levan super match. Recently, Engin Terzi confirmed the rumors that yes, Devon and Levan are going to pull once again for the number one title in the world, this time at East vs West 12 in April next year. Both Devon and Levan, they agreed that they will be pulling against each other as their next match. And Engin also promised that this event is going to be the biggest event ever. This time, the assumption is that Levan Saginashvili is going to be slightly weaker than his previous peak shape and Devon has improved slightly. So this closes the gap and that's why Devon is going to take the revenge. But it may not be as simple as that. I think we need to take a look at the left-handed practice pull between Devon and Levan. Both of them have a weaker left arm. And Levan was able to stay patient on the left arm and then pin Devon Laird's King's move by completely straightening his arm which do not straighten easily. Because in their previous King of the Table match, Levan attacked and there was a very brief stop near the pad, maybe for milliseconds. And that's why everyone including Devon was saying that if the injury in the second round didn't happen, Devon would have stopped him and eventually bled him out. But can we say that Levan could have been patient just like the left arm, waited at the center, waited for the right moment and then straightened Devon's right arm just like he did on the left? There is a possibility. And now the rumors have been confirmed that Levan's right wrist injury has been completely healed after the stem cells treatment. That means that the questions that everyone is having are gone now. Maybe there will still be some doubts if Levan is completely destroyed by Devon Lerett. In that case, it will be fair to say that maybe the injury had to do something with that. But if Devon wins in a close match, he beat him fair and square, the injury had nothing to do with that. A month or two ago, Coach Ray confirmed that Levan had already started training his right arm. He was doing mostly light work on his wrist with literally hundreds of reps, so not to replicate any kind of damage danger while training that he may have had in the past on his wrist because of heavy weights. That's a slow, gradual and smart approach to getting healthy once again. And now in the recent video on Georgian Arm Wrestling channel, we can clearly see that Levan has started lifting heavy weights. He was bicep curling almost 50 kilos on the single arm and cheat curling 100 kilos, which are not high numbers by Levan's standards, but for a comeback weight, these are good numbers. To be honest, Levan still looks kind of out of shape, but he has not been working out for months now and that is kind of expected in off-season from a top athlete. In 2022, Devon started as a heavy underdog in the eyes of the arm wrestling fans. Levan was about 60% favorite and Devon only 40. But still towards the end of this match, the numbers kind of reversed and Devon was the favorite. This time, Devon is starting as an equal. They both are around 50%. Where the tide is going to shift towards the match, it's kind of difficult to say as of now. Maybe Devon is going to be the favorite. If I were Levan Saginashvili, I will be feeling really confident or at least I won't be scared at all after watching the Devon vs Georgi match. And I'm saying that because although I accept that Devon looked in control throughout the match, he was never in any kind of trouble. But still, there was something about his hand and wrist which Levan may have noticed. If Georgi can move Devon off center, his arm was opening up and Devon was losing his wrist, then Levan can for sure do that and he can do that harder. As of today, if you ask me my prediction, assuming that Levan is going to reach somewhere close to his previous peak shape in 2022, I'll say that Levan is the favorite about 60% to 40%. Now let's discuss the question whether Levan Saginashvili did the right thing or not by accepting this Devon Lerett rematch as his first comeback match after the wrist injury. To be clear, Levan knows the most about himself. 
if he believes that his injury is either already healed or will be healed soon enough so that it allows him to train 100% for the Devon match, then it is just a fact. But even Devon has addressed this topic multiple times. He said that it is inevitable that his win against Levan will be discredited because people will be saying that Levan wasn't 100%. And that is something that shouldn't happen. And that's the only reason why many people believe that Levan should have taken one more match before this Devon match. So in that match against a notable opponent, we would know how good Levan's wrist was able to handle. If we see any weakness in his game, if we see him getting stopped by someone that shouldn't have been able to stop him a year ago then probably we can say that he's not 100% and he will know that he needs more time to train but in this rematch if Devon is able to dominate him straight away then there will be some questions for sure and this is something that Devon Laird and arm wrestling fans won't want to see so yes to some extent I do agree that he should have taken another match before this Devon match in the previous match, I was confident enough to bet on Levan even in a shutout stake. In this match, I wouldn't be confident enough even to bet on just Levan winning this match. So that's how close I think it can get. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe.